Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video on what you can do to fine tune the motion detection settings in your DAWA IP cameras or NVR. We recently had a customer who purchased a pretty large system for their home uh, and once it was set up they, they called almost instantly and said these motion alerts are driving me crazy. We're getting them non-stop. Uh, so we logged in remotely and took a look uh, and the default settings were way off. So I decided to make a video on this topic and we're gonna cover it right now. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that if you have not yet subscribed to our channel so you will be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful to you and as always leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber uh, questions and comments. So yes, the first thing, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, log into Dawa's remote client view software, which is called Smart PSS. If you have not yet downloaded the software or attached your NVR to it, um, please reference the video link that's going across the top of your screen right now that talks about setting up Smart PSS with your hardware um, for use. Okay, so this is assuming you're at that point. Um, when you look at Smart PSS, you will see at the bottom here, there's a configuration row and one of those options is device CFG, device config. We're gonna click that, okay, friends? And you will see uh, in the left-hand column here, um, any recorder that is linked to your account, okay? Um, we have two linked to this particular account, um, but we're gonna pick Meredith here. So we're just gonna double click on this. And when we do, you'll see there are several configuration settings available to you. We are concerned with event, okay? So we're gonna click the down arrow here and we're gonna hit video detect, okay? And what this will do, this is the motion alert configuration settings for each camera, okay? The first thing we wanna do is enable motion detection for the selected camera, which is camera one. Then we want to come down where it says zone and we want to set our zoning parameters. Okay. This is basically the picture. Okay. And right now you'll see the sensitivity is up relatively high. It's at 60. Most people, okay. Most people only want motion to be triggered for, um, individuals, for people and for vehicles. Okay. Um, if a bird flies by, if we have snow, um, even a cat or a squirrel, if it runs by the camera, most people are not gonna want that to activate motion detected recording or alerts. Uh, if it does, you're gonna have a lot of alerts, right? Your phone's gonna blow up with messages because there's gonna be a lot of activity. So we like to keep this around 30. And in my experience, 30 um, for most settings will capture people and vehicles and limit uh, false alarms. Uh, if 30 is still too high for your location, you could go down to 25. You could go down to 20. That's what this video is on, right? It's beautiful. You can adjust it, customize it to your location. Now, so sensitivity threshold is another setting. Okay, you'll see that below sensitivity. And this is where our client uh, got caught. Okay, sensitivity is the size of the object that triggers the motion. Okay, and we've already talked about that. At 30, it should be a person or a vehicle right? So sensitivity detects the object. Threshold, threshold, the second setting is how long that object needs to be in the picture frame before it triggers the motion event. And by default, you can see we're low, right? So that object only has to be there a split fraction of a second that's going to trigger motion. So we want that to be uh, at 10 to 15. Okay, friends, you want that object to be on the screen for a second uh, before it triggers your motion alert. Uh, again, the mindset is we want to limit these to the real action. Okay, we want to limit these to the real action. Um, so that is threshold. The other thing we can do, you can see there is a red grid on the picture frame. Okay, we can also grid out areas. You can see this is a marina and they are concerned with 
the fuel pump here. Not so much boats passing by. So what I can do is I can zone out some of this area. See how it's going to white? And I can zone out everything except for the pump area. Okay? Why would that be useful? Again, first of all, it's going to limit the alerts. If something happens at the fuel pump, we want to go to our motion ticker, which I'll show you in a little bit, and find that event rel relatively quickly, right? We don't want to go to a bunch of motion alerts. The other thing that it will do is it will extend the amount of days that you can archive or record onto your NVR hard drive because we're cutting out stuff that's not important to us, okay? Um, so that's how we do that, okay? So once you have your sensitivity at 30, and your threshold in between 10 and 15, you can hit save, okay? And then we can come to where it says copy current configuration down at the bottom, and we can change the sensitivity and threshold settings for each camera, okay? So you don't have to go to each one and, and do that, okay? And as you can see, it's saving. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna teach you um, how to also activating uh, the motion alerts, okay? We talked about motion alerts. Uh, we have a previous video on how to set up a Gmail account for email notifications uh, through a uh, CCTV company like Heck Vision or Dawa. There's another link up atop right now walking you through that, okay? How to set up your email in this system. So we're not gonna cover that right now in detail, but we're gonna go over the basics. Okay, so we've set up our motion detection. We've set up our sensitivity and threshold already. If we scroll down to the bottom, okay, scroll down to the bottom, you can see there are, there's a send email notification with a snapshot for motion alerts, okay? So we're gonna enable both of those. And what that's going to do when a event or a movement triggers motion activity, it's going to send you an email. DAWA is the system with a picture of what caused that motion. That creates a virtual alarm system and there's no cost for it. It's free, it's free with this equipment, folks. So you wanna activate that and take advantage of it, okay? It's very useful as long as the parameters are set properly. All right, so great. That covers motion detection settings. Um, what we can do now is we can actually go up to the network tab um, just like we did for event and you will see a box here a button for SMTP this is where you will put your uh, Gmail information in and again we've already talked about and and linked uh, it's in the description to this video as well the video on uh, setting up your Gmail account to receive motion alerts um, but basically this is it you're going to enable it um, Emails SMTP server for outgoing uh, is smtp.gmail.com. You'll see port 587 here. You'll put your username and password um, as both the user uh, and the sender. Um, you wanna leave TLS for the encrypt mode. Um, the subject would be NVR alerts. Uh, and the receiver is just who the alerts are going to. Okay, and you can hit save. Again, reference the Gmail video uh, if you need further assistance with that. Okay, so now let's go and we will show you how to playback uh, using Smart PSS for your motion alert. All right, so let's play back a motion alert. We are just going to hit the plus um, on our command bar here and you will see playback, okay? And when you play back motion, when you play back motion, you are going to select a camera, okay? There is fuel dock, okay? And you are going to do um, a search for the date, okay? So if we want to do motion um, and look for motion on yesterday, we would pick the day, which is the seventh. Um, and right here where it says record type, you can record all records, which is the continuous recording, as well as just motion, okay? So if we click general and hit search, when the
when it finishes thinking, um, you'll see that we have a lot of video. However, if we switch from general to motion detection and hit search, we're just going to see the motion alert ticks after I select the channel. And again, there's another video, a link going across the top of the screen again, um, with how to play back um, using this DAWA Smart PSS. That is not the uh, purpose of this video. But what you'll see quickly here is a lot of motion alerts, right? Because we just changed the sensitivity in the threshold and lowered it. Um, this is what the initial customer was complaining about. Each one of these yellow marks would be an email, and that would be crazy, right? Uh, now that we adjusted it, only triggers will be shown when it's a person or a vehicle, okay? Um, and you have to go through and review it, and, and if it is too high, the threshold um, might be too low and the sensitivity too high, we can make further adjustments to make sure we get exactly what we want. But when you do it this way, um, you can press play, and as you can see, you can forward to each of the, of the motion alerts, okay? So we can drag this guy over to this motion alert. And we can play that event okay just like so perfect hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, we'll see you in the field